Cheer Hall, and we decided to budget it out for $80 a week for two people, and uh, we just found that we were spending way too much on food every day, and it was about $20 a meal, which is $40 a day, so that adds up really quickly. So we decided, okay, let's take $80, and let's go to the store, and let's see what we can buy um, for that budget, and just stick to it through the entire week. So that's what we did, and the biggest reasons obviously are to save money and also with cooking at home you know exactly what's going in your food versus if you're eating out somewhere they can load it with sodium they can put MSGs in there GMOs I mean you name it they put all kinds of things in there and I'm not feeling that my skin's not feeling that my guts not feeling that so grocery shopping it is <laughs> alrighty so first off we're gonna start with protein I just find that um, frozen chicken does last a lot longer than just buying like the regular chicken um, the only thing you want to make sure whenever you buy frozen chicken is that it does say no antibiotics and that they're also cage free, which this does say. So if you see these in the grocery store, they're actually a really good, good thing to get for you. Um, and you can pick how much you want to cook at a time so you don't have a bunch of raw chicken sitting in your fridge. Chicken's a great source of lean protein. It does help you regulate your blood pressure. So this is um, a really good option to go for. For another protein that we have are eggs, and I always get, um, again, same thing as the frozen chicken, you want to make sure that they're cage-free eggs, and they're also antibiotic-free, and if you can get uh, organic, that's even better, but if you can't, as long as they're antibiotic-free, and they're also uh, cage-free, that's you're doing great. So this is actually one of the best brands that I've found. I do see them at pretty much every grocery store that we go to. Um, they're usually about four or five dollars a pack, so they're really, it's, you're still sticking to a good budget. Eggs are a really great source of protein, and they also have all nine essential amino acids in there as well, so that helps your cell function and also liver function too. Alrighty, and also, uh, this didn't really get included into the budget just because you don't have to buy this every single week, um, but we went ahead and bought it. Um, this is protein powder. So I, you can get any protein powder that you like. I do prefer pea protein just because I feel like whey, uh, dairy in general, just bloats me. So I feel like protein, uh, pea protein is a lot uh, just better for my stomach. So this one's organic and we do get vanilla just so it can kind of blend in with any kind of fruits that we want to put in there, or any other flavors. So um, and this one is gluten-free, non-GMO, 100% vegan. So no dairy, no, none of that nasty stuff in there. So, and it, it does have 20 grams of protein, and also um, 7 grams of fiber, very low in sugar, and also 130 calories. And this one does have some fruit and vegetable servings mixed in too, so it helps you get in that daily intake of your uh, fruits and vegetables, um, which is also really cool. Not every protein powder does that, but if you do find one that does, I know Orgain does, um, Vega does, which is also a really good brand of protein, and obviously this one does too. Um, so that's definitely, if you can find one that does that, definitely opt for that one because you're just getting even more bang for your buck, and this will last a good, at least, even if you're making it every day, I think this lasts a good like two to three weeks, possibly a month. So yeah, protein powder is an awesome way to go and it's great for breakfast or even if you're just not wanting a full meal. So um, one really good thing to have in your diet are healthy fats, but I did get grab coconut oil. So this one is organic virgin coconut oil and you want to make sure that it's unrefined because that means that whenever they are you know, pulling the oils from that coconut meat, they're not using any extra chemicals. Um, to pull that oil out so you're getting the purest oil that you can and if it says um, I think it was if it says cold pressed then that also means that they didn't use heat to extract that oil from the coconut meat either which also helps retain its nutritional value if it's unrefined and or cold pressed it does also have a stronger coconut flavor um, which is really good if you cook it with chicken or if you put it on your sweet potatoes and roast them in the oven so coconut oil is really good for your cholesterol it boosts HDL which is your good cholesterol and helps lower LDL which is your um, bad cholesterol so what happens is LDL can clog your arteries and um, HDL helps kind of keep it flowing so you don't have that problem. The coconut oil also boosts fat burning. The fatty acids in coconut oil are a lot shorter chains than just regular fat. So what it does is it goes to the liver, it's turned into ketones, and ketones are really good for your brain function too. And it kind of gives you a little boost of energy. So if any of you have done the keto diet, then you know what ketones are. So coconut oil is awesome. Alrighty, and one of my favorite vegetables in the world <laughs> are bell peppers and I did get one of each color so basically the if you didn't know the different colors are based on how they were picked um, so basically the red is the most ripe um, and then this is the least ripe but again they are loaded with nutrients they do have um, phytonutrients which act as antioxidants so bell peppers are really great for you and they're also loaded with beta, with beta carotene 
Um, and actually the red bell pepper has the most beta carotene in there just because it is the most ripe. But they're also loaded with vitamin C, so it also will help with iron absorption if you do struggle with low iron too. So if you have these with spinach, um, this will help you retain the iron from the spinach, or even just like steak, if you have these as a side or a little topping, really, really good for you. The next thing are sweet potatoes. <laughs> Love me some sweet potatoes. I just toss these in the oven, let them roast with some coconut oil, like I showed you before, and also some cinnamon. And sweet potatoes are full of potassium, so they're super, super good for you. Awesome side item, awesome. Um, even a snack, if you have a sweet tooth like I do, this is a really good snack too. So if you just roast a good bit of them in the oven and keep them in the fridge and just microwave them or even put them in the oven and reheat them, um, it's really, really good. So. Sweet potatoes are great. <laughs> and you don't have to get them cut up like this if you don't want to. I just find that it saves us time, especially on days that we work. The next up is the infamous broccoli. It's a good source of iron. It actually is an antioxidant. It helps with um, neutralizing the free radicals in your body. This is really good steamed, in, or I'm sorry, sauteed in a uh, pan with some olive oil and a little bit of Himalayan pink salt and some pepper. It's really, really good. A healthy grocery haul is never complete without bananas. And bananas you technically don't have to get organic. I do prefer the organic ones. They do taste much sweeter than the other, like just regular bananas I do find. For me, I drink coffee in the morning and sometimes I don't want a full meal, so I'll just grab a banana. Right, so next up we have green apples. And my goodness gracious, I was so excited to get these. I usually have to be in the mood to eat an apple, but I have been craving green apples recently. I'm not sure why. I like to keep them in the fridge. I think they taste way better whenever they're cold. Uh, they're super good dipped in peanut butter uh, by themselves. I mean, oh my goodness, I could just go on and on. I love apples. <laughs> and they're actually full of vitamin C and they're great if you're suffering from acne. This is one of the best things you can eat. I try to get organic apples if you can just because it doesn't have that thicker skin to protect itself from the pesticides they use to grow that fruit. Uh, so definitely if you're looking at apples, try to get the organic ones if you can. Next up we have peanut butter. <laughs> I went about a good year or two without eating peanut butter, but let me tell you, I miss it. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna be cutting up some of those apples and dipping it in some peanut butter. Uh, but I did get the organic kind, uh, but it is a good source of fat, a good little bit of protein in there as well. Um, and it only has just a couple ingredients on there. It's uh, dry roasted blanched organic peanuts, organic palm fruit oil, organic sugar, and salt, and peanuts. So it's it's good, and it does have um, some healthy fats in there too, so peanut butter is really good as well if you're on the go. Um, even with a banana, uh, it's, it, I find that it eases my stomach too, and I know some people do like to uh, eat it with uh, celery. I haven't tried that. I'm not sure how I'd feel about it, but if you're willing to give it a shot, definitely. But uh, peanut butter is good for you as well. It's not as great as almond butter. I uh, just, again, we're on a budget, and peanut butter is a better uh, budget-friendly nut butter. So I just went ahead and got this one. So and it is USDA organic too. So. Also for vegetables, we do have spinach. I did get the organic girl kind. I got the smaller one uh, just because we did kind of go. Th we didn't really go through it last time. I think we just kind of forgot it was there. So I just wanted to. Get the tinier one, make sure, because it does get bad and kind of wilted at the bottom of it uh, quite fast. If you buy spinach frequently, then you know <laughs> it can go bad kind of quickly. So uh, the organic one is the best, I find, just because, again, it doesn't have that thicker skin on there, so it's good to, good to get that organic. And it does have a lot of iron in there. This is a great source of iron, which also, going along with this, it's great to get lemons, too. Lemons are full of vitamin C, it's an antioxidant, you can put them in water, uh, use it as a salad dressing, you can do so much with a lemon, but these two go hand in hand because if you don't have a good amount of vitamin C in your body, then you can't retain iron. So you can eat iron like crazy, you can eat everything iron, but your body isn't going to absorb it if you don't have vitamin C. So these two are really, really good together. So. And these can also, I mean these are great in everything can't really go wrong with a lemon. I mean, even season your chicken with it, uh, squeeze it on some salmon, um, but however you're feeling that day. So this is good. Next up, we have chickpeas. They're just a really great source of a protein, even if, especially if you're vegan, these are really, really good to eat. Or even if you're not feeling like having chicken or salmon or you're just kind of tired of it, 
or you can't really afford it just because those are a little bit more expensive proteins, definitely opt for garbanzo beans or chickpeas because they are affordable and they're, they're good for you too. Just make sure that you get the non-BPA lining because they do put BPA in cans and you want to make sure you're not getting that as well as non-GMO and make sure that the sodium isn't insanely high on these because that's the one thing about canned fruits and vegetables and beans is they do add a lot of sodium in there to, and preservatives so you just want to make sure that's not what you're getting. <laughs> also some almond milk, great for shakes, uh, granola, um, you can really have almond milk with anything, you can have it by itself. I uh, love this one just because it's lower in calories and I always get the unsweetened so you don't have a lot of sugar in there. If you are a soda drinker like me, I love Sprite. That's pretty much the only soda that I drink. But I found an alternative, <laughs> and they're called Zevias, and they are so, so good. So here's the thing. Instead of being sweetened with high fructose corn syrup, they're sweetened with stevia leaf extract, which is a natural sweetener. Uh, so, and here's the thing. Even the ones that are flavored like a dark soda, they're clear, which, blows my mind. The nutritional facts are zeroed out and you can see you've already had two. <laughs> That's crazy. So definitely if you're trying to wean yourself off of Coke or Sprite or anything like that, these are really good. They have ginger ale, um, Mountain Dew. <laughs> Come down! <laughs> you got the Zemia. It's funny. Oh, I got log bombed. Log bombed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was talking about the Zemia and it comes walking down the stairs with the Zemia. <laughs> quick meal idea if you have a busy schedule is pasta just because it only takes about 20 minutes to cook and you want to make sure that you get a good one that's not filled with a bunch of enriched flour and a lot of extra ingredients that you don't need so this is the one that I picked up it's the ancient harvest gluten-free peony organic super grain pasta or even if you just want to throw some veggies in there like some spinach and mix it with some olive oil and apple cider vinegar a little bit of uh, garlic which is really good for your immune system and some pink Himalayan salt and black pepper. Ooh, oh, oh, throw in some bell peppers. Got it going on. <laughs> this box alone will make maybe around two to four meals, depending on how much and how hungry you are. So this is a really, really good option. And it's only $3, I believe, for this box. <laughs> Say hey. Also for fruit, we have Blueberries. It's really one of the best fruit, fruits that you can possibly get. Really good for your tummy, um, good for fighting acne. So, And I did get the organic kind, like I said. I put them in granola. There's Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of superfoods, chia seeds are incredible. They're full of omega-3s. Chia seeds are really good if you're having an issue getting enough water in for the day. If you put some chia seeds in there, Gives it like a little crunch, so you have that interesting texture that keeps you wanting to drink your water instead of like crunching on ice, you know? <laughs> and you can make chia pudding with this, which is where you put, I forgot the ratio, I think one cup of chia seeds and then two cups of like almond milk or water, and you leave them in the fridge overnight and they'll soak up and it'll get to be like this, like a pudding, but it's full of nutrients. I do defer to chips, so I try to find the healthiest way to have that so I'm not completely cutting myself off because again, this is supposed to be budget friendly, but also we're living a maintainable life. So we did find these organic uh, blue, blue corn tortilla chips. No MSGs, no preservatives, no artificial colors. And the uh, ingredients are organic blue corn, organic expeller pressed and flour oil, and uh, sea salt. So these are really good if you're trying to find a healthier way to eat chips. And also to go with these, we got the organic salsa. And we did get the medium just to have a little kick to it. And if you're a coffee drinker like me, I didn't include this in the budget just because we already had it here. But I do drink coffee every single morning. And I, this is the brand that I have. And it's just the pure coffee it's just pure espresso. And then this is the creamer that I use. I'd stay away from dairy just because it does break me out. And Himalayan salt, so this is a really good um, essential if you're able to get it. Um, it doesn't dehydrate your body like sea salt does or like regular table salt does, and it doesn't have the iodine. I use it on everything, and um, it's, it's awesome for you. So this is definitely definitely a must. <laughs> I hope you found something that kind of helped you with your grocery shopping if you're having an issue staying on a healthy budget. Um, again, this was um, an $80 budget for two people, 
So we're gonna stick to it. It's saving us almost $200 a week to do this. So hopefully if you, even if it's just one person or there's like a couple items you can pick and choose from this, that'll help you out and will be great for your diet. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Like and subscribe and please hit that notification bell so you see every single time that I upload and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.